Welcome to Lunchbox Sessions, bite-sized industrial training. Hello, this is Carl from lunchboxsessions.com. Today's short video is about a basic concept that goes with all single rod hydraulic cylinders and pertains to what you'll see happening with the level of fluid in the tank and the necessity of a working tank breather. If I bring up my controls for the hydraulic cylinder, we're able to extend and retract. And the magic of this particular scenario is that we've got no directional valve showing because we want to focus on just what happens to the tank level as the cylinder retracts and as it extends. Are you looking at the tank level? Notice that the fluid level has dropped as the cylinder extends and as the cylinder retracts, the fluid level rises. Why does the fluid level rise as the cylinder retracts? It's a simple matter of a volume of material, the rod itself, passing out to the open atmosphere as we extend. So that is filler material that has left the tube. And so fluid from the tank has made up for the volume of steel that is now out in the open atmosphere. And as we retract the cylinder, we're bringing in a fill volume from out in the open atmosphere, the cylinder rod, back into a tube full of hydraulic oil. And so some of that oil has to be displaced. And so it is pushed back into the tank and the tank level increases. One of the key points to remember if you're maintaining hydraulic systems is never to fill the tank to the level that might be marked on the tank when the cylinders are extended as you may then overfill the tank and when you retract the cylinder, have a bit of a spill occur right out the top through the breather. In some cases, the tank is sometimes marked with two fill levels, one fill level for when the cylinders are extended and another full and maintained level for when cylinders are retracted. So now that we've noticed that the fluid level drops during extension, and that the fluid level rises back up when the cylinder is retracted, I think you already have a good idea of what the importance is of that breather on top of the reservoir. When the oil level drops, we need to draw in makeup fluid called air from open atmosphere. And when the oil level rises, we need to expel some air from inside the top of the tank back out into the open atmosphere. What happens in our ability to extend and retract a hydraulic cylinder if contaminants plug the breather? Well, let's just simulate plugged breather by putting a cork in it. There we go. We've corked our breather port on the top of the tank. And as I go to extend the hydraulic cylinder, we're expecting the oil level in the tank to drop and supply to be made available to the cylinder. But of course, that doesn't really happen. All we end up doing is stretching the hydraulic fluid slightly as the cylinder tries to extend. And we develop partial vacuum pressure shown in violet at the top of the tank. But really, the cylinder cannot be moved. What about retraction? If we try to move the rod into retraction, then we're pushing fluid back up into the tank and compressing air shown in red at the top. But if that air can't leave, then there's a limit to how far back the cylinder will go, or perhaps we'll compress air to the point where some other seal or component of the tank may burst. So it turns out that that breather is desperately needed on top of all hydraulic tanks where single rod hydraulic cylinders are present. Keep that breather clean, and I hope your hydraulic systems continue to run normally. Thanks for joining us. That's all for this time. We have hundreds of interactive resources like this live schematic, so you can try out your wild ideas without blowing anything up. Get started at lunchboxsessions.com.